Welcome to Sunset Spirit Steel. This is a short exploration game made by Kitty Horror Show. I've played two of Kitty Horror Show's previous games, Dust City and Cheerza, both of which I really enjoyed, so I'm really looking forward to this. If you'd like to play this for yourself, you can grab it at a name your own price with no minimum, and I'll have a link to that in the description. So, let's jump into it. It instantly reminds me of Kitty Horror Show's previous games. A big, expansive, and very kind of abstract environment. With lots of ambient noises. And strange devices. It's obviously supposed to be some sort of a windmill, but it's, it doesn't look like a normal windmill. The fins are so incredibly small and spindly. With these, we shall flourish. Our village will be the jewel of the Mesa. I feel so short in this place. Everything just towers over me. Forgive me. <laughs> That's not what I want to hear. I don't know what I do want to hear, but I definitely don't want to hear that. This place is just very dead. I mean, these things are still spinning, but between the sound of the wind and... Just the utter lifelessness of everything. The only vegetation that can be seen is just the trees, which are just completely dead. Damn the sage. His suspicious mewling would feed our hungry bones to the soil. What in the heck is that thing? I can't use it. Can't touch it. it slow down. Did I do that? Oh, I can actually change it by hitting it. Whee! I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but this is fun. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. It kind of looks like... It kind of looks like a grappling hook, but at the same time it also kind of looks like a piece of ground that has been, like, torn out and it almost looks like a tree. Like a tree sitting on, like, a cloud... Cloud land? You know, like a chunk of land sitting in the air? Or rather, floating in the air? I have no idea. Did not mean to go off the edge. You can hear the blades cutting the air, barely. It's very, very quiet.
Okay, I have no idea what that is either. It sounds alive, though. Hmm. I feel like I'm meant to go over there. So I want to go everywhere else first. Let's go here first. Because I think I'm heading upwards. I think that's the natural progression of things. And the structure. The structure here and that one up there looks vaguely reminiscent of the strange objects that I've seen. Where's Papa? Where did these walls come from? Yes. I mean, I noticed the walls, but I assume they were just kind of a... Uh, just... A bounding box to keep me in the game space? I didn't think they are actually meant to be part of the story. So something trapped them there. Trapped them here. And, well, <laughs> trapped me here. I wonder if it'll let all be like Cheerza, where you're the last one left alive in a place that's dead. Been taken over by something. Let's make sure I didn't miss any objects over here before I continue on my journey upwards and onwards. Looks like that's it for down there. Alright, where was it before? I just looked at that. So, this is the next thing. Next thing. They returned with another. They howled louder when they were brought close together. As though they were calling out to one another. Screaming. Or maybe laughing. Wait, did I go up there? Or did I just totally miss that? I totally missed that, didn't I? I feel it observing me. Its singing is ceaseless. I wish I had never agreed to keep it. It sounds like it's talking about one of those objects. Its singing is ceaseless because they make noise. So somebody gave them the strange objects. That's a person's voice. But they sound like they're in, in danger or something. Like there's somebody... Like somebody's soul is trapped inside of the object or something. Stood our avarice, honed it into knives, and through our own hands hunted us. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that wasn't a pleasant sound.
That thing looks like a weapon. It's almost sharp. Yeah, so it starts to spin faster and faster the closer you get to it. It gets more excited. They could feel my presence. Breath is being sapped. It is hardening my thoughts, watching me die, celebrating. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I did not expect that. That scared the hell out of me. The game just shut down, by the way. That's why you're seeing a black screen. Well, I managed to run away from it for all of one second. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, that has been Sunset Spirit Steel. Another strange and atmospheric and rather creepy experience. Another in a long line. And I hope they never stop. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through it. And... Thank you for watching.